What's up, I'm Christian Regal. You're watching RideBMX.com and I'm gonna teach you how to do a wall ride. Uh, first things first, you're gonna to wanna to find a good banked wall. The steeper the bank, the more pop you're gonna have, so the easier it is to get onto it. Uh, if the wall's slanted, that's also gonna make it a lot easier for you. You're gonna be able to get on there and your tires are gonna stick. You're not gonna to have to worry about sliding out. Uh, preferably good, like wooden wall ride's good, just in case like you slide out and hit your elbow on the wall or something like that, you won't get all cut up. You can approach the wall when you're first trying it out. You can go kind of slow and just like hop on, get your tires on the wall and you can take your foot off. But then to be able to do the wall ride and get back into the bank, you're going to need like pretty good amount of speed. So feel it out and see what's best, but definitely want to start off going a little slow. And then as you get better at it, you're going to be able to go faster and faster and higher and higher. Um, when you're coming up to the wall, I always kind of keep my eye on the point of the bank that I want to pull off from. And you're going to want to like bunny hop right at the top of the bank. Uh, Depending on the, the wall ride setup, you're either going to want to go more straight up and down or carving more. If it's slanted, you can, you can go more at an angle and you can ride the wall. But if it's like a steep bank to just a regular wall, you're going to want to go more straight at it and just hit the wall and come back off. You're going to want to try to wall ride whichever way you're more, most comfortable airing. So if you air a quarter pipe to the left, you're going to want to find a wall ride where you can pull off and wall ride to the left. Once you get onto the wall, you want to lean your shoulder down towards the bank so you can help pull off when you come off and spot your landing, you know, you don't want to case the bank on the way in or land flat, so kind of like keep an eye on where you want to land. Depending on the wall ride setup, if the wall is super close to the bank, once you get on it, like you really don't have to pull off too hard, but if it's like a, a far back wall or a gap to wall ride, you're going to need to like get ready and pull off with like pretty good pull to be able to make it into the bank because you don't want to hang up on it or pull off too hard and land flat. So I'd say if it's like a bank to slanted wall, you can kind of just chill when you pull off because it's easier to get off. Getting onto the wall is just like as if you're bunny hopping onto something like you, you land and your body compresses and then you keep it like you hold it until you're ready to pull off. So when you hit the wall you kind of like bend your knees and, and get like kind of get down a little bit and then when you're going to pop off you like use, use that compression to help pop off the wall. A lot of common things that can go wrong is coming up and you hit front tire first that uh, sucks up all your speed and you're not going to be able to do a wall, you're just going to pretty much smash into the wall. Uh, or you come off and pull off too early in case, or pull off too hard and land flat. You can also not, not like lean in enough and just slide once you hit the wall. So those are all common things that you'll probably do once or twice when you're learning it, but that's why I was saying, you know, go slow, take baby steps, and you won't get hurt. After you get the wall rides figured out, you can go off the bank, hit the wall, pop off it pretty good. You can start messing around with tricks. You can, you can take your hands off. You can do toboggan, table, like whatever you feel like. I mean, if it's a good, good bank to wall ride, you should be able to pop out of it and, and do whatever.